What's the future of fuel cell cars? We're going to get an expert's opinion coming up right after this. Follow the future minds of the industry with hashtag intern Yazaki. Yazaki's team of automotive interns are covering the car management briefing seminars using Instagram and Twitter in partnership with Autoline.tv. It's industry insight from the next generation. Follow hashtag intern Yazaki or visit www.autoline.tv. Shane Stevens is the president and co-founder of a company called First Element Fuel, all about fueling fuel cell cars. And Shane, give us a little description of the business model for your company. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm lucky to have two great partners and myself that are leading the company. And we share a common belief that fuel cell vehicles can change the world in a positive way. So what we're trying to do is provide retail hydrogen for fuel cell vehicle customers and enable the market here in the U.S. There's a lot of action in California where you're based. Uh, fill us in with where what's going on there and how that might roll out across the country. Sure. California is the initial focus for us, and I think one of the biggest uh, initial focuses for the fuel cell vehicle market worldwide. That's because of an alignment of the industry vision and the policy uh, vision in the state. Uh, we've been lucky to receive an award from the state of California to build out the first phase of the hydrogen station network there, starting with 19 stations. We're focusing in the metro areas, but also building building a few stations so that drivers can go around the state freely to places like Lake Tahoe or drive between Los Angeles and San Francisco. And then nationwide, what are you thinking in the future? Well, we are looking to build a business model that is exportable and scalable. So as other, futures, uh, other markets develop in the future, we hope to be playing in those markets as well. You don't make hydrogen. You don't manufacture that. You're building up the infrastructure to distribute it. Is that right? That's right. Uh, in the past, there's been a misalignment of stakeholders. Uh, you know, there are hydrogen technology companies, hydrogen producers, but nobody was stepping in to fill the retail space. So that's where we are playing that role. We're coming in, we're integrated all the pieces of the supply chain, and we're providing the retail interface to the fuel cell vehicle customer, providing them with the fuel for their car. Where do you get the hydrogen? So right now, hydrogen is produced from a variety of forms, but most of it comes from natural gas. Now, in California, we have a regulation that says that one-third of all the hydrogen has to come from renewable sources. So all the hydrogen that we purchase on a bulk scale to distribute to the consumers, well, a third of it will be renewable, and the other two-thirds of it will likely come from the steam methane reforming of natural gas. What what are the renewable forms of getting hydrogen? Sure. So I think in the early stage, what you're going to see is most renewable hydrogen will come from biogas sources, uh, things like biomass or wastewater treatment processes. In the future, I think you'll see uh, other emerging sources like using wind and solar, uh, excess electricity, and turn that into hydrogen, and then maybe even some advanced techniques like using algae to convert sunlight and water into hydrogen. One of the number one questions I get asked about hydrogen is, what does it cost? Do you know what a gasoline gallon equivalent of hydrogen costs? Uh, so that's a good question, and uh, I'm going to kind of give you two answers. One is there's the raw hydrogen fuel, mm -hmm. and that's actually pretty inexpensive. Right now, I would say raw hydrogen fuel costs about one half that of, of gasoline. But we have a lot of extra costs in these early years because we're building a lot of this infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So what consumers are going to see at the pump, we feel that that's going to be pretty similar to the cost of gasoline per mile right now. But we think in the not too distant future, it's going to come down to be significantly less than gasoline. Very exciting. Very interesting to hear about it. Thank Shane, you. thanks so much for all your time today. I appreciate it. Keep tuning in to Autoline.tv for more updates from the management briefing seminars. There's more car news and industry insight from the Autoline Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another Autoline episode.